Hey, hello everyone. My name is Bruno. I'm part of the Cloud Advocates in the .NET team. And today we are going to see how we can add Aspire, the service default component to a chat application, a standard console chat, but it's an amazing way to get telemetry. So let me share my screen and let's go for it. Super quick. So, hey, this is a standard, let me put myself here. This is a standard application that we have here where you can see that we have a kernel. We have a kernel is using a Nolama 5.3 model running in Docker, and then we have a chat. If we run this, and by the way, this is Olama. We can see here how it's running in Docker. If we run the project, let's keep this somewhere here do some zoom and say hi. We are going to see, hello there, how can I assist you? And we see there in the back that we have the run, uh, everything uh, running in the in the log in the Olama container. So I will say, my name is Bruno. Very nice to meet you, Bruno. And we see the calls in the back. So hey, super cool. How we can add telemetry here? By default, this is a very simple app, simple chat. So let's do some magic here. So first of all, let's add a new solution here to the project. And the type that we want to add is a service default. This is the one. You need to have installed Aspire. You need to check everything. I'm going to share the links here in the video. But let's create a new service default. Let's name this Aspire service default, net 8. That's it. Super cool, super done. It's already there. It's already part of the solution. And the only thing that we need to do right now is add a reference between in the running project from the dependency. So right now we have our sample five application that has the service default reference. Super cool working on that almost there. So once we have this, and by the way, I know that my camera is there. Don't worry about that. You will get the, 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 the cool part there. Once we have this, let's start to add some code here. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create the host. We need to create, this is similar to what we have when we are working in a web application. So let's do app and let's do host.create oh, host dot oh my god, the autocomplete. Uh, create application builder. There it is. And I don't need everything that we have here. We just need the application builder. We can do more, but I want to do this. And let's also add the using here. Extension hosting. There it is. And let's do. Builder, oh, not app. Sorry, this is the builder. Builder dot add service defaults. And this service defaults is the one that came from the service default aspect. So we have this, it's going to be part of our context. And what we need to do here is basically create the application. We are going to do, say, bar, oh, bar app, and we are going to do builder dot build, and we are going to start the application. So that's it. So when we run this now, what we are going to do, yes, reload this and do everything. We are going to see, we are going to see that hey, we have more info here. And we see that the, the hosting lifetime is lower there. We have an environment, we have the path of the application. Everything is still working. And there is telemetry in example here that we can use. And there is service discovery. There are so many things here. But how we can see the telemetry? So there are two ways to do this. Uh, we can add a new project of Aspire host type and then make the connection. Or I like the other one, which is run Aspire directly in a Docker container. So if I go back to the containers, I only have this one. And if I copy this command that we have as part of the Aspire dashboard.com, I can go here and do Docker run a specific command. And we see here in the back that we have an Aspire dashboard running and somewhere here, we have this URL. Sorry, there it is. Let me bring it here. And if I do a local host, I am going to see that I have here my Aspire. And in Aspire, we have traces, we have metrics, and we have a lot of other things, but there is nothing here right now. So if I run again the application, sample five up and running, and I go to my dashboard, and I start to use the application, let's do something like this. We start to see that we have information in the back. So I will say, hi, hello, how can I help you today? My name is Bruno. So every time that I'm using this, it's going to happen something in the back. What is my name? 
I'm going to see your name is Bruno. So I will see here that in the structure log, I have the application is running, control C to shoot down. I can go here and see start to see the traces, the metrics. And in the traces, in example, let's take a look at this one that is basically called the local host that we have here. And hey, this is my Olama model that I have running here, the Phi 3. And I can see a couple of other information here, telemetry.net. Plenty of things that we can do, and literally we have this up and running in five minutes or less. So, hey, I hope you like it. Everything that you see here is available in the Olama dashboard. You can take a look at the repository. It's in the links here. And hey, I hope you like it. Goodbye.